Hi there. In the last video, we went over making a square with our uh, robot car. So um, I'm going to add on to that one, but I'm also going to go over a couple of new skills uh, for this next challenge. So our challenge last, last time was to create a square. Um, so it was move forward for 200 millimeters, then turn right, then move forward, move forward, and so on and so forth. Um, now, one thing I do want to tell you or teach you about is the copy-paste. So when you have a good setup like we have right here, uh, you can actually control C and then control V, and you can copy and paste that to make our, our square here. So I'm just going to control V a couple times to make my square and attach it to my get started. And if we watch it go, should make a square. We'll just watch that go as soon as it loads. <clears throat> Okay, so that's uh, just that control C, control V to get that moving. Another thing that we can do, and I know some people have already uh, played around with this function, is in the control section, and that is the repeats. So if you grab on, say, this repeat, uh, and it gives you a number, kind of drag it over here to our start, you'll notice that, whoops, well, we'll just watch what this happens. We don't want it to repeat 10 times, though. That's, that's going to take way too long. So I'm going to put in repeat two times. But notice how this drive forward is outside of the repeat box. So let's see how that affects our program here. All right, so we're going to run that and let it go. Ah, notice how now it's just going to run into the wall. Uh, thankfully, we only repeated this two times because it can't go any further from there. So I'm going to remove that, try to drag this down back into where it belongs, and then connect it again, reset my, uh, my map here, and then try this again. So this time it should go around two times. And so there it goes. I'm going to go ahead and stop that because we know what it's going to do again. All right, so uh, that's adding in a repeat. And you can have that do multiple multiple times. Um, we can also change in the number of millimeters that it, that it goes. Of course, if we want it to be a square, then you know we would have to change all of these. But there's also a function that I'm going to go over called a variable. So I'm going to get rid of this, just click and drag it, and it kind of puts it back into our setup over here. And now I'm going to go into right here, it says variables. Okay, so you can see my variable, and so far these are the two variables are here. But I'm going to make a new variable. So click on make a variable, and I'm going to name this variable distance. Okay. So a couple of new things that I'm going to throw in here. So make sure that, you know, as you are watching this and practicing along with this, if you need to pause or um, repeat a section, go ahead and do that as you as you need. So I'm going to hide my map right now. Now, let's test out our, our variable. So this time I am going to, whoops, I'm going to throw in here um, my distance, actually. Throw that one in here. I'm going to set my distance to 200. Okay. So then when I go here, rather than um, just having 200 here, I can bring in my click and drag my distance. Notice how it replaces that in millimeters. And then I'm going to turn right 90 and copy and paste. Nope, 
don't want just that one. I want this whole thing to copy and paste. So copy and paste. So right there, paste again and drag that here, paste again and drag that here. So I'm going to connect this all. And if we watch this, it should again create a square. I'm doing this correctly. I don't know. Still kind of learning this uh, VR VEX program. Uh, it's very different than what typically uh, what I typically use. But let's see what happens. So here we are. Okay, and it went back to making my square. Uh, some cool things about this is instead of having instead of going in and changing all of these dis distances, I can just come in here if I want to make my square a little bit bigger. I can come in here and just type 500 and then reset and watch my square get a little bit larger. Okay, um, so that's that's a just a, a little addition. Uh, one other thing, just to kind of prove that we're making the square, we can actually go in and uh, go to this uh, operator or this looks button over here. <clears throat> you can set your robot's pin to different colors. You have a move robot pin down. That means that when it's down, it's actually going to make uh, a mark on your grid, and then you can change it to to different colors. So. Say you want to move this to set your robot down, okay? And we're going to put black here, but then maybe about halfway into this, I'm going to change the color to red. Just try and new things out. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so this time, making a nice half of it is black, and then now it's going to set up a red. And you see we've changed the colors for this, and it's back. So a couple other challenges that we're going to go with for uh, this project this week. I'd like for you to try out these new skills. Uh, maybe change your distance to different uh, different numbers and uh, Look at that. Definitely practice uh, putting your robot pin down and maybe playing around with some of the different colors, making different. You can even go on and do different shapes. So that is it for this lesson. Don't forget that we need to save save this. So I'm going to call this um, variable practice. So I'm going to rename it and then come over here to file and save to my device, see that it's saved. So now the next time I don't have to redo all of this, I can just come set up right here and get started and just make some adjustments based off of what I've done, all right? So uh, hopefully this will help you out with this uh, next challenge. Uh, look forward to some new videos coming up and I will see